Hello, everyone. My name is Maya Miro Johnson, and I'm a fourth year student currently here at Curtis. I'd like to go ahead and thank all of my teachers, first and foremost, before I continue. Um, and especially also to the performers, thank you so much. You've done a wonderful job, and you've brought me a lot of joy this week. And also to Dr. Thomas Pattison, who's making a special appearance today on Modular Synthesizer. Thank you for agreeing to do this project with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I also apologize for using some notes. I don't typically like to rely on them, but um, I wanted to get this right tonight. <laughs> I suppose that this is a kind of of the moment, timely pop culture reference, but I've always felt to a certain degree a little bit like the Wednesday Adams of the composition department here at Curtis. <laughs> and I think you will understand why in a few minutes when you hear this piece which is um, an abstract scene from an opera project with a Scandinavian soprano named Christina Herstal. It's in progress, in which an unnamed female patient waiting in an MRI machine experiences dehumanization, depersonalization, and self-hatred to the extent that she starts to identify with and resonate with the most distant object in the galaxy, a black hole in mutual meaninglessness and futility. For my entire time here, I have been thinking and writing about the concept of the android and the uncanny valley, something possessing the appearance of the human being, but lacking what makes a person, a lack filled by machinery and automation, something which has really come to the foreground of my mind and my experience because I recently had and currently have a piece of medical equipment cut and sewn into my body that is keeping me alive. And from that experiential perspective, which you may or may not relate to, I just wanted to share a few observations in some specific language that might contextualize this piece um, from a recent extended hospitalization. Every time we think we know pain, life decides to remind us of our ignorance. My scars tell my story, but they are mute and you are blind. Forgetting is a very, very different type of suffering than not wanting to remember, because life is only worth living if you can still recognize yourself when you have nothing left. And a problem becomes an obstacle when it is insurmountable by means within a humane grasp. One is only a survivor if one has the guilt to prove it. And finally, I think you'll all recognize these words, which were written over 70 years ago, but have been replaying in my mind very often. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Thank you.
hold your breath. You may resume breathing. And hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. And hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. Breathe in and hold your breath. You may resume breathing. and hold your breath. You may resume breathing.
breathe in and hold your breath.